Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Mike here at Game from Scratch, and way back in October, what feels like about seven years ago, given the state of events in the world, uh, I talked to you about the Unity Mega Bundle X. This was their 10th anniversary bundle. It's kind of set up like a humble bundle, broken down into various different tiers, and we looked at a few of the assets in here. One of the ones that really stood out to me when I look at this bundle uh, was the Script Inspector, which I went hands-on with and definitely is something I am using on a nearly daily basis. But when you actually go and take a look at this bundle, uh, you're going to see there's kind of a common thread here, especially if you go to the top tier, uh, the $36 and up tier, you're going to see we've got Eddie's Vehicle Physics, we have Easy Roads 3D Pro, we have Tune Racing, and then to a lesser degree, we have Unistorm, and we also have uh, the Oak Tree Packages. You put all of those together and you basically have a ready-made kit for developing a racing game. So that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to look at this bundle before it expires. We're coming into the final three days of this bundle. So if you're looking at making a racing style game using the Unity game engine. There's actually quite a bit here to look forward to. So again, we're going to look at Eddie's vehicle physics. This is basically a vehicle control system, normally at 60 bucks. Next up, we are going to look at Easy Roads 3D, a package for creating road networks. Then we are going to look at Tune Racing. This is probably the most straightforward. It's basically a collection of Tune style cars, a whole bunch of them, by the way, but also a number of props as well. For the $27 price tag, this actually is probably the most impressive of the packs we're going to cover today for the price ratio anyways. And we will also quickly look at Unistorm weather system. Uh, this could be used to add day, night, rain cycle kind of thing, clouds, uh, dynamic clouds and so on to your racing game. And then finally, we will look very briefly at the Unity Oak Tree assets. This one's pretty straightforward. It is a collection of trees, but frankly, you got to have something you're going to want to put beside your track, right? Well, this enables you to do that. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to look at the racing assets included in the Unity Mega, Mega, uh, Mega Bundle X to see if this is something that is looked worthwhile to you in the next couple of days. Because like I said, you got about three days left. And I will have, of course, all of the relevant links in the articles down below. By the way, there is an affiliate link there. So if you buy it through my link, I do make a small commission and thank you very much. All right, so let's jump on over and take a look at Unity. So this is probably the easiest and most straightforward assets. This is a collection of racing cars. Now, I know one of the things that is almost always asked, I shouldn't say racing cars because we got rally cars, we have uh, Formula One or IndyCar style cars there. But then we also have a collection of monster trucks. There's also a tune shader set up for all of these. Um, I was going to try and pull some of these out to get them working in Blender to see how well uh, these assets actually work. Um, you know, outside of Unity, and the textures aren't really set up for it. So the textures were a bit annoying to get out, and it actually does come uh, with a common shader in there to give you this tune style look. But this isn't all that's included in here. This is just the cars. Right now we're looking at all cars. We've also got all props, all track pieces, and so on. But instead, what I'm going to do is load up a second scene here, and we're going to actually kind of see all of these things put together. So this isn't just a car pack, and I don't know why we got zoomed so far out. Come on. Come on. All right, there we go. Now we're in view. You see here, everything in this pack can be used to create basically an entire racing game in a given art style. So you can see here, uh, we've got track pieces, we've got barrels, we've got, again, all of the monster trucks in question, uh, tire walls, uh, spectator stands, uh, chairs and bleachers, lighting. Uh, so basically, you've got everything you need to create an, uh, a certain style of um, racing game right here in this particular pack in kind of a nice low poly style here. The nice thing here is if you're a somewhat limited artistic ability, uh, this should be something that you could um, take and uh, kind of expand upon. I'm not saying that this is simple art, but if it's got a clean uh, polygon style like what you're seeing here, generally adding to it is a lot easier than if it's got more of a realistic style. So that is the uh, first pack. This is the, um, what was it actually called? This is called the... Uh, tune racing pack. And, and again, a collection of cars, props, and everything you would need to create a game. Pretty straightforward pack on the whole. Uh, next up, we are going to take a look at uh, one of the easiest ones here. This is Easy Roads 3D. And I will open up their scene as well. And this scene is way too big, but it's basically a set of train. And what you do with Easy Roads 3D is basically create road networks. And it's funny, they didn't actually do a really good job with this demo scene of showcasing what this thing is all about, because it's basically for creating road networks. So you can see it in action, all kinds of settings for it. And you can do some cool things with your, oops, uh, you can do some cool things with your road, like automatically line it. You can have like sidewalks or trees or cones or whatever as part of your creation process. You can open it up. You're going to see there's connection objects here. And then there's road objects as well. 
And then if we pick out the road, actually, I think I got to go to the road network. Here we can go ahead and we can switch into uh, design mode. So let me just go over here a little bit and I'll showcase how this thing works with train. So you can actually interact with train. It will automatically follow the train and go up and down in the road. And you can add in new roads and new road types. By default, there's only one road type defined, uh, the road type. Uh, default road. And then what I can do is I can go ahead and so we can create a new road type and I'll go here over the default road that is already defined and we can add a new one in. And then just basically just hit shift and you start to draw splines in the world by holding the shift control point. And then you just basically start creating the road as you need it and you can add a new network. And you'll notice here it can handle uh, the interaction there and you do have some power and control over how these interactions work. So you see here in some cases we have uh, a four point uh, continuation. So you see the lines didn't make it across like you would expect on a normal road. Or if you are a bit more on the British side, you've got things like roundabouts. So that's what this is. It's basically a giant controlled system for handling uh, roads. You can do camera flyover of your road in action. Again, like I said, you could set up side objects all the way around your road, things like barriers, fences, walls, bridges, props, trains, and so on. And there is a dynamic side of this. So if you want to procedurally generate roads and tracks, you can work with this guy to do that as well. Definitely some pretty powerful stuff here. So next up, we also have EV. EVP. And EVP is Eddie's Vehicle Physics for Unity. And this one is basically your game logic. So, you know, you're, it's nice to have all of this stuff, but things need to actually control it. So I'm going to go ahead. We'll open up the scene. We won't save that one there. And here we are in Eddie's scene. Now, again, this thing is all about controlling cars in the world. And this particular demo has a number of different cars. It's also got a couple of assets for actually creating a city and so on. But if we go in here, we're going to see a couple of cars in the world. For example, we've got this bus. If I go down here, you're going to see we have a couple of defined cars here as well. If I get out of the world, we're going to stop clipping through them. All right, so you see we got a number of different cars. I select a different car. You can see here, controlled by a rigid body. But you've also got here like vehicle controller scripts, and you've got things like center of mass, uh, max speed, anti-roll, all of that stuff, your motor strength, your tire friction, all of that stuff. So all of these cars have completely different handling. So you notice we had a number of different scripts that are being passed in, input handling, vehicle damage handling, vehicle effects, visual effects, and so on. So all of the scripts you need to control the cars in your world are in here. So you've got a number of different cars defined with number of different properties and settings for them. And then on top of that, we've got the vehicle manager, which handles all of your, your various different vehicles within your scene. And in this particular example, we can go ahead, we'll show you this in action. So there's another one here that's got more of a drifting setup if you're interested. So you can go around and here you see a vehicle in a world. And I can also do a page up and down. And we've got various different vehicles with, as you can see by this bus, much different handling characteristics. So this pack, Eddie's Vehicle Control Pack, is going to be really about adding the logic. So you could hook this into uh, the um, the tune cars and have those being controlled by this kind of creator. And then you could also use the uh, road system we just saw, the easy road system. And you can see how all of these things can really start working together to create uh, much more complicated games. So let me just exit out of the game mode here. So that is the next one we're going to show. Okay, so we've seen easy roads. We've seen Eddie's Vehicle Physics. Uh, we saw the uh, tune cars. Those are the big ones in action here. Next up, very simple here. Uh, we have the trees. So this is two demo versions of it. So I'll just go in here. Well, we can actually see these as prefabs. Uh, so oak trees for the train engine or for game objects, single game objects. And we basically start populating your world with trees. And there's five different tree types and you can see them in action there. You can also use these with the easy road system uh, and you can have it automatically populate the side of your road using these various different tree prefabs. Pretty straightforward concept on the whole. That one is probably the easiest of the packs to explain because, well, quite frankly, it's a collection of trees. But trees are kind of one of those things that are, are used, universally useful, not generally if they're in the middle of your road. Normally you would put them, I don't know, say sort of off to the side of your road like so, but you can obviously see how this would work. And you can actually see in this pack itself, it has some very low polygon trees. So if you wanted to, you know, up your visual quality quite a bit, that is where this guy comes in. Uh, this is at the entry level tier here. It's, it's kind of a throw in, but again, five uh, trees of fairly high quality, but again, of an art style that they fit in quite well. You could use these for the close up LODs, but you do have uh, multiple LOD options available uh, there as well. So that is definitely Definitely a nice feature on that one. And then the final thing we're going to showcase is the weather system. Let me just drop over there. And it's called Unistorm. And let's open up a demo scene here. So we got a bunch of different ones. We got mobile, uh, playable standard, uh, procedural lightning strikes, and so on. So let's just do standard demo because, well, it's pretty standard and it's a 
It's a demo. It's pretty self-explanatory. I don't know why, uh, but this one actually starts underneath the world. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit play on that, and you'll get an idea of the kind of weather systems that you could add to your game. So we got we got uh, a lot of, you can hear sounds from the biome in the background. Uh, we can go ahead, we can add uh, rain in and so on. Let me just go back to the, there we go. So partly cloudy. Um, let's see what we can switch to. Heavy rain. Let's switch on heavy rain and change our weather. All right, do I need to hit escape again to get rid of that? All right, weather. Yeah, I'll kick in. I could definitely work on their lighting a little bit in here because it's it's kind of hard to see. But we're going to do the slow transition over. They're definitely getting darker. So you can see how you could incorporate something. There we go. Our rain is coming down. It looks like we might be missing a shader, though, because our rain... Oh, no, it came in eventually. So there you go. See the rain effect in action. I do believe there's also some... Yeah, there is definitely a script in here, so you can have water dripping off your camera as well. So obviously, you can use uh, something like this, this um, Unistorm system, to do your day-night cycle rain effects and so on. It, it, it's actually kind of staggering, really, in some ways, how close to a, um asset flip in a box this bundle actually is because you can see how all of these things could sort of slot together and make a game pretty turnkey with very very minimal coding effort and some pretty good results now of course you could pick and, and match where you put these things in they don't all have to work together i'm just kind of showcasing how these these assets could definitely be brought together uh so there's a, a number of other things i didn't touch on like this one is uh, i believe a combat music sound thing there's a golem monster uh actually that art style sort of matches the uh, humble bundle that i think is still running right now for fantasy creatures if you want to add one more into the mix uh, we've got micro monsters a little chibi style animation we got some fantasy creatures which again would match that other pack currently going on on humble i guess i'll throw that link down below too if you want to check that one out we've got some ui tools in this kit as well a pool manager this is not for swimming pools this is for pooling of objects uh various a variety of different object types so uh, i thought they described it immediately right here but you can pool in your uh, you know particle effects sprites uh audio and more yeah part particles you can you can pull your particles um so anyways, that's kind of that level that we got a vector graphics thing in here, our simple sequel. Uh, Script Inspector, which I absolutely love and featured in another video. Sumi Mono, this is a water system, which also could fit into this as well. But quite frankly, I uh, featured that in an earlier video as well. And then, of course, we got the master audio system here as well, which is a kind of a standalone advanced audio player for your game. Uh, it, it's definitely a nice pack. I still think this person's crazy, but I guess, again, they're plugging their uh, their site. So I wonder how well that has worked out for them. So anyways, that is the uh, Humble Bundle of Sorry, the Humble Bundle, uh, the Asset Store X Mega Bundle uh, from Unity. There's their 10th year anniversary, and you can see here you got about three, three and a half days left once this video goes live. Hopefully, uh, within the next hour or two, you'll still have three plus days to decide if it works for you. But realistically, if you are in this for a racing game, uh, especially if you like uh, some of the styles we work with, so some of this stuff, again, uh, Easy Roads and EVP5, uh, those ones definitely have a real world look to them, as do the tree assets and Unistorm. But I can see the tune racing stuff right here. It's it can be it can mash into a real world environment pretty easily though. So you know if we go with this setup, drop some barrels in there. It doesn't look out of place. Let's get down and find a monster truck. Drop a monster truck in here. Like, it's definitely a tunish style, but it could definitely be mixed and matched for the real world environment and not look bad at all, in my humble opinion. So, yep, Unity have really given us an asset flip in a box here. You could probably take all of this stuff and make a reasonably good looking game in like a weekend's time. I was actually really almost tempted to do that. Uh, but again, I, I do want to point out, I don't think using prefabbed assets is the same thing as an asset flip. What makes something an asset flip is the complete lack of actual effort people put into it but this one really kind of is encouraging that kind of an activity but even if you've got a legit game and you're looking for props or a vehicle control system or a weather system or a water system etc there is a lot to like in this bundle uh, and generally as far as sales go this is about as good as you get on something like unity humble can be better for sure uh, but for a unity sale this one is definitely quite a solid saving so again you got a little bit over three days left and i'd love to hear what you think what you think of the uh, vehicle related asset that we saw today and also when you look at this uh, it's kind of funny you could turnkey look at what you could use in a single game is this one i can't really think of how to mix a golem into a racing game or an orc or uh, super deformed people uh, but ui builders sure for sure pool manager uh, vector graphics maybe sql server script the water system the vehicle system the ui controls uh 
easy roads, tune racing, and storm system, and an audio system. It's almost, again, like a turnkey game building kit that they put together here. I don't know if there was an intention behind it, but this definitely does seem vehicular oriented in its approach. So let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.